Hola. <laughs> What's good, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I am Kenya right now, and this is day five of 30 days of vlogging in April. I'm talking about the five things that I love about Colombia. So, why am I out here in these jungle looking streets? Because this is one of the things that I actually love about living in Medellin. I'm in the middle of the city and yet you see these riverways everywhere and it's just beautiful, greenery, exotic looking plants and it's right here in the middle of the city. It has a lot of hidden beauty, it reminds you of the jungle and the funny thing that I did not know until I came here was that the Amazon jungle is actually in part of Colombia. So it's in, in, in three countries. Whenever you hear about the Amazon jungle, I've always associated it with Brazil. However, it is in parts of Brazil, it's in parts of Colombia, and it's in parts of Peru. I believe it's the third country. So I'm gonna take you on a walk with me. I show you uh, the different parts. This is one of the riverways in my area and we might run into a few of the locals who pass by here <laughs> and uh, they might be wondering what the heck am I doing. And I don't know how much of this you can see behind me but it's it's things like this that just make it really really cool I mean, you can hear the construction going, you can hear cars passing by, and yet, look, look at where I am. All right, so that's number one, the little pockets of jungle that you'll find just about everywhere around here. So number two is the beautiful views of Medellin. Medellin is, they describe it as a, a city inside of a bowl because it's surrounded by mountains. And that is actually what contributes to so much of the pollution that we have here. When you're, surround, when you're a city surrounded by mountains, it traps things there. In this case, it traps a lot of pollution. In uh, Daegu, where I lived, which was another city surrounded by mountains, it trapped in a lot of heat. The mountains trapped in a lot of heat. But because we live in the valley and because we're surrounded by mountains, and because in Medellin in particular, People live in the mountains. In Korea, people hiked there. There were just trees and, and, and nature. But here, people actually live their lives. You could see the, the houses and the lights scaling up at night. And at night, it's so beautiful. It's like the lights, they sparkle like stars in the sky. At night, the lights, street lights, house lights, whatever they are, they sparkle like stars in the sky, like literally they twinkle and it's just such a beautiful sight. So the third thing I love about being in Medellin is it's always sandal weather here. The weather is so beautiful. I mean for the last, um, I don't know, for the last maybe like month or so, it's been raining non-stop, well, not non-stop, but it's been raining like every single day. Uh, so it rain, it'll rain in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. And it's usually like a really heavy, it could be a really heavy torrential rain. Then the last couple of days, some of you reached out to me to see if I was okay. Because in the news they reported that some parts of Colombia experienced like heavy and severe mudslides. And those can get a little serious because they can damage homes and, and you know potentially kill people but Medellin was unaffected by that there was no mudslides here we didn't experience any of that but definitely for the last like five four five six weeks there's been rain like every single day but then the rain dries up and it's sunshine weather like this and I can I can attest that Every single day since I've been here, it's been pretty much sandal weather. So the weather is beautiful. That's one thing I love about it. And it's, what, March? I'm from Wisconsin. I'm from Milwaukee. And right now, like, my family and friends are always talking about how much the snow we got this week or the cold we got this week. And they were so excited when I think the weather was, like, 50 or 60 degrees. So it's just, it's funny how, uh, 
how things are different, but I'm definitely loving. Hola. I'm definitely loving the uh, the beautiful weather that they have here. Number four is the friendly people. So as you might have seen in earlier in the video, the guys walking by, like you know, just striking up conversation, being friendly, being jokey. Colombians in general are very friendly, but I was told that in Medellin they are particularly extra polite. I've noticed that you know whenever I enter a store or a restaurant or a cab, whenever they greet you, it's not just hola, it's not just buenas, it's not buenos dias or buenas tardes or buenas noches. It's always hello, como estas? Buenas tardes, como estas? They always say hello, how are you? It goes to show the like, friendliness, the socialness of Colombians and that I really appreciate. And they're very, you know, helpful and friendly. However, this is not a bilingual country. They speak Spanish here. So wherever you go, even in some of the tourist areas, they will struggle in communicating if you don't speak Spanish, a little bit of Spanish at least. So you're not gonna find a lot of places that speak English. And finally, the fifth thing that I would say I love about Medellin, Colombia, is the expat community here. The expat community here is really awesome. There are a lot of different people that you'll find here in Colombia. Uh, it's not like it was when I was in Korea where it was pretty much 20-somethings. They were like always... They were all, the majority of the people or of the teachers who were in Korea were 20 something year olds, pretty much inexperienced, you know, fresh out of college doing their gap year or never had a real job, never lived on their own, you know, they lived with their parents. So for me, being 33 years old when I went to Korea and having done so many things, having lived on my own since I was 23, having um, started a business, have having friends and being a, with, within a community of artists and entrepreneurs and corporate managers and community organizers. Going to Korea was a shock to the system in terms of the expat community. They were very, they could be very standoffish and you know when you're just talking to a person just to talk to them because you're both in the same space, they always, it was always this weird energy like you're trying to be down with their clique. But in reality, it's like, no, I don't even really know you or like you to want to be down with your click. I'm just saying, what's up? And so here, the expat community is, is very different. It's, it's more grown folk. And you'll find a lot of entrepreneurs who come here to start a business. There are several US companies who come here uh, to do their startup businesses. There are a lot of retirees who decide to move here. There are a lot of um, ex-military and retired military who decide to come here. And there's just a whole gamut of folks who, you know, some of the more short-term short -term expats like me who come here for a few months and then leave or come here for extended vacations, like three to six weeks and then leave. But they're all a different, a different mix. They're all a mixed bag of folks. That, that gives that nice refreshing uh, breath of fresh air in terms of meeting people. The expats here understand that sense of community and we don't have to be besties to hang out and have a good dinner together, that sort of thing. So, whew. with that being said, I will stop talking. Those are my five things that I appreciate and love about Colombia, being here as an expat. And don't forget, subscribe, Share the video, like the video, comment down below. Peace.